It is my belief that if you are desiring to read something that will stir your soul and lick the pot of your heart clean, then you need to read a book written by a black Southern writer. The Volga Genius' Honorary Book Award is given to a nonfiction writer whose works not only make a difference in the literary scene, but are also constantly fighting for social justice and economic equality. Today, we present this award to one of the most beloved and prolific writers of our generation, Kiese Makiba Lehman. But you don't have to take my word for it. Here are some special people who will agree. Hello everyone, I'm Sunil Barnes, last year's Vulgar Geniuses Honorary Awardee for writing and social justice work. I'm also the author of Monsoon Mansion, a memoir, Malaya Essays on Freedom, and a forthcoming book on the role of women in climate justice and the water crisis. I am also the editor of A Measure of Belonging, 21 Writers of Color in, on the New American South, through which I had the honor of, and pleasure of working with this year's honorary awardee, Kia Suleiman, whose work in kindness and generosity and intelligence and genuine nature have paved the way for writers of color like myself, especially here in the South. Um, I read his books and essays when I was starting out and writing my first book and essays um, was obviously a difficult task and he was there um, both directly and indirectly to help me through it all. He was also a faculty member um, at Voices of the Nation's Arts when I was a student there and of course when my second book came out he was so kind and generous to once again offer his words of encouragement about my work, about my book. Um, these words were important to me at the time because I had someone uh, see something in me and in my work that I was yet to see. And to this day, I still read this passage to myself at least so often when I need to be reminded of the kind of work I set out to do and the kind of work only I can accomplish. And so these words of his continue to impact me and reverberate in my mind and in my ear and my heart and I'm forever grateful. And of course, I'm honored to pass on this award. Congratulations to you, and you deserve this and so much more. Hello, everyone. I am Robert Jones Jr., author of the novel, The Prophets. What can I say about Kiese Lehman? Um, many of you already know that he is a phenomenal writer. Um, able to uh, mine the depths of the human soul to bring up something that is difficult and useful. But what many of you might not know is how phenomenal a person Kiese is, who builds community wherever he goes, who um, paves paths for others to come along, who lends a hand to those in need, who is exceptional with his brotherhood. I could not have published The Prophets if not for Kiese's intervention, if not for him convincing me that The Prophets was something of value. I would have never believed it. Um, and this coming from somebody who himself writes on next level. Um, so I would just like to say, Kiese Lehman, you are treasured. You are adored. You are admired and you are loved. Love you, brother. Congratulations. So I was having dinner with some writer friends recently and the conversation turned to our dear mutual friend, Kiese Lehman. And we talked about how we'll be trying to give Kiese his flowers and this man will be down in some dirt planting seeds to grow flowers to give to someone else. That's Kiese. 
putting in the work for the people he loves, the people he champions, the people who need it, the people who, like me, um, who are inspired and uplifted by his work and by his heart. Kiese's work is brave, even as he tells us that he is not. Kiese has taught us that we can write with our whole heart, that we can put our vulnerabilities and our whole selves on the page without apology. Kiese has made it so that I don't want to write any other way. For so many of us in the publishing world, Kiese has been a gateway and not a gatekeeper. He embodies the fact that there's room for all of us, but we love Kiese not for what he does, but for who he has been and who he continues to be. Brilliant, beautiful, tender, honest, conscientious, gracious. There's some folks that I personally think he should cuss smooth out, but he doesn't. And above all, Kiese is Miss Catherine's grandbaby. He is all of his grandmother's dreams walking through this terrible world and telling the truth about it. So congratulations, Kiese, on receiving this year's Honorary Vulgar Genius Award. I'm proud of you and proud to call you my friend and my cousin. May our ancestors continue to protect and delight in you.